from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 6th, 2023. Two Israeli soldiers were injured last night in a car ramming attack in the West Bank. The IDF said an assailant rammed into two IDF soldiers adjacent to the town of Huara. One soldier was moderately injured and another lightly injured. IDF saying that soldiers spotted the suspected vehicle shortly after, pursued it, and apprehended the assailant. A knife was found in the vehicle. The assailant was transferred to security forces for further questioning. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke this morning to the president of Egypt over the phone, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, about the deadly attack this weekend on Israel's border with Egypt, where three IDF soldiers were killed by an Egyptian policeman. Netanyahu's office said el-Sisi expressed his deepest condolences over the incident, the prime minister thanking the president as well as for his commitment to a thorough and joint investigation into the incident. Netanyahu's office saying the two leaders expressed their commitment to continue strengthening the peace and security cooperation that is vital to both countries. Israel's Foreign Minister Eli Cohen is on an official visit to the Philippines, the first senior Israeli diplomat to do so in 56 years. Cohen met with his counterpart, Enrique Manalo, and with President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Cohen said the state of Israel owes a historic debt to the Philippines for rescuing 1,300 Jews during the Holocaust and for being the only country in the region that supported the establishment of the state of Israel in 1947. Cohen took part in a ceremony honoring President Manuel Quezon, who gave refuge in his country to Jews escaping Nazi persecution. Cohen noted also that after the severe storm that occurred in the Philippines in 2013, he said, we sent a rescue and aid mission there, and just as the Filipino people stood by us during the most difficult time for the Jewish people, so we are always willing to help them. 75 buildings lit up in blue and white across the United States to celebrate Israel's 75th birthday. Israel's official Twitter shared video of the public buildings and landmarks, which included the Empire State Building and Niagara Falls. Writing thank you to our wonderful friends in the United States for making our 75th Independence Day so special. Here's to many more years of friendship. Well, a mural responding to anti-Semitism was unveiled Sunday in the Pico Robertson neighborhood of Los Angeles which is home to a large Jewish population and where two Jewish men were shot in two separate anti-Semitic incidents, if you recall, back in February. The JTA reports the common thread was painted by Iranian Jewish artist Chloe Hakakian and is part of the LA vs. Hate Summer of Solidarity campaign led by the Los Angeles County Commission on Human Relations in partnership with the Anti-Defamation League's LA office and the Jewish Federation of Greater Los Angeles. The mural shows a Jewish woman lighting Shabbat candles, the flames spelling out the words in Hebrew, Lador Vador, from generation to generation. Hakakian told the LA Daily News a mural out in public where people are driving by will hopefully reach folks even outside of this community and encourage them to talk and ask questions. That's a powerful first step in fighting both anti-Semitism and all hate crimes and I hope it makes Jews feel seen and know they're not alone. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, June the 6th. At 7 o'clock, experience the dramatic events of the Six-Day War of 1967 and how they transformed the state of Israel. At 7.30, author Stephen Pressfield, whose book The Lion's Gate draws on hundreds of hours of interviews with veterans of the Six-Day War, joining Benjamin Anthony to talk about how the pivotal war was won by Israel against all odds. At 9, Yossi Klein Halevi discusses the Six-Day War on L'Chaim. At 10, Rabbi Daniel Hartman talks about the concept of justice and righteousness in the Jewish tradition. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider.
And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 6th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.